हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फिजिक्स वाला गेट वाला तो गेट मैकेनिकल 2025 पेपर इज ओवर एंड वी हैव डिस्कस विद मेनी स्टूडेंट्स एंड वी आर गेटिंग इंफॉर्मेशन दैट पेपर वाज सुपर इजी राइट मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वाज फॉर्मूला बेस्ड इवन सिंपल क्वेश्चन व्हिच वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन आवर क्लासेस सो now we uh, we are going to discuss basically that what is a lovely uh, what is a paper pattern and how it is divided and uh, uh, how many marks were asked from different uh, categories of the paper so uh, i would like to uh, ask sir that uh, what type of question were there okay so we have compiled uh, from the questions memory based questions that we have got from the students we have compiled how many questions are there from nat mcq msq so first of all we'll discuss this data so sir uh, from nat one mark there were four questions four question from uh, and two mark questions there were 23 questions 23 questions okay then in mcq there were 26 one mark questions 26 one marks question and 11 two mark questions 11 two marks question right and msq there was zero one mark question and there was only a single two mark question okay so lot of students get scared from the msq questions and let me tell you for the past 3 years we have seen that they are decreasing the weightage of msq questions yes. uh, if you compare it with last year you can see that there were two questions from msq last year and this year there was only one question okay one mark nat question last year there was zero questions and this year there are four questions, four questions. okay so this nat and mcq weightage has been changed but msq weightage is not that changed that and uh, you can see that there is only a single question from msq and one more conclusion you can get from here that uh, most of the questions which are you know nat type they are two marks questions yes. right and uh, uh, msq uh, mcq type of questions are mostly one marks questions yes we have seen this pattern last year also that exactly. most of the two mark questions are nat and most of the one mark questions are mcq okay now one by one we'll discuss the weightage of different subjects we will start with uh, thermal and fluid so sir basic thermodynamics uh, there were two mark uh, two one mark questions two one mark questions and two two mark questions okay then uh, applied thermodynamics there was there were two two mark one mark question two one marks question okay. and one two mark question okay then from fluid mechanics two three two three then heat transfer sorry fluid machinery fluid machinery i think zero, zero one, one. Marks, uh, zero one and uh, uh, Heat transfer, heat transfer zero two, zero two. So if we count total, then uh, it will come around twenty three, two and three, three nine, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty four. Huh, so so 20, almost twenty four. Almost every year same pattern is there. I think last year also almost same twenty three, twenty four marks were asked from the thermal fluid area. But the weightage has been slightly changed. If you yes. see. that uh, last year from heat transfer there are three question one mark and three question two mark so six questions were there from heat transfer but this year sir there were only uh, two question yes okay so this is this variation is the most like uh, when whenever you are starting your preparation then three categories are there majorly in technical one is thermal fluid and another one is design portion another one is uh, this manufacturing one so in all these three uh mostly like weightage is similar every year but only pat like uh, subject wise weightage is changing yes now let's come to the design part so from engineering mechanics 20 20 strength of material 13 13 machine design 22 22 theory of machines 12 12 and vibrations 11 11 so you so can see that uh, from machine design you have four questions strength of material you have four questions then theory of machine three question vibration two question engineering mechanics weightage has been reduced uh, last year there were three questions but this year there are only two questions and that two for one mark only means the weightage is two marks only for engineering mechanics strength of material weightage is increased a little bit machine design weightage is same and you can see that for the past two years yes. lot of questions are coming from machine design earlier there were only one or two questions from machine design but for the past two years we have seen four questions almost six marks weightage is there it is equivalent to strength of materials now yes so you have to focus on machine design lot of people tend to leave machine design during their preparation but it's a major subject now okay let's move on to production so sir material science 
वन जीरो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस फाइव सिक्स फाइव सिक्स इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग जीरो थ्री जीरो थ्री If you compare it with last year, you can see industrial engineering weightage has been reduced. Uh, manufacturing process weightage is almost similar. Materials, material science is almost same. Okay, so not much changes here. Now let's talk about engineering mathematics and general aptitude. So sir, uh, it is almost same. Same. Mathematics five four. Five four. And uh, aptitude five five. So last year also. Last year also I think same. Ah, yes, this exactly was same. same. so this this weightage never changes it is almost same every year okay so you can see that the weightage is not drastically changed almost same weightage just like last year so people who are preparing for next year they can learn from this and they can decide which subjects to prepare first okay now sir let's talk about the marks versus rank sir okay. as we have seen students are saying there are easy questions very yeah. easy questions very formula, formula based, based questions. questions we have got the questions also we have provided the solution pdf also you can go to our telegram groups and you can find those pdfs so you will see that there are very easy questions from every subject so sir last year if you see the students who got 50 plus they got under 1000 rank yes. and the students who got 60 plus they got 500 under 500 rank so will this change this year no definitely this is going to be change right uh, there uh, there may be chance that there is no much change in uh, changes in uh, in cut off part cut off part may be little bit one or two marks going to be change but here definitely uh, we can we can see a, a little bit change right because last year if you see in 58 marks uh, under like 500 uh, rank were, were there but this year i personally think that uh like to get under 500 rank minimum 63 to 65 mark should be there yes definitely because uh, if you compare the overall paper last year and this year last year it was moderately difficult you can see uh, a few questions were there which were very uh, tricky yes. but this year we have never not seen even a single question from any subject that was tricky uh all the subjects from all the subjects all the questions are very formula based so this year we feel that if you want to get under 1000 rank minimum you need to get 60 plus and if you want to get under 500 rank 65, 65. plus you will have to score okay so that is even, our prediction even sir uh, what is your prediction about uh, air 1 yes last year this this is a little last year uh air1 got 84.67 marks but this year we believe that it is going to be 90 plus what do you say sir? uh 90 plus yes true this year topper is going to be 90 plus only uh after that okay that is that is also true that even if you are getting uh, more than 80 marks then i think psu may call or something or, yes, or you will get very good uh, uh, iit in good uh, branch and the students who have not performed well in this gate don't worry keep your preparation going because you all you have a lot of opportunities coming and on those exams the pattern is same the syllabus is same so your preparation is not going to go in vain you will use those uh, preparations in upcoming exams so keep prepare, preparing and keep revising your subjects and one more thing i would like to ask you sir that uh, mechanical paper is over right and uh, after some 10 15 days i think 16th of this month hmm. uh, xc paper will be there yes. so what should be the strategy for this xc paper sir we have prepared a lot of uh, session we have we are going to conduct a lot of sessions for xc for from 4th of february in our mechanical channel you will find a lot of youtube sessions for xc so you attend those sessions and you just keep revising your basic concepts because what we have observed yesterday there were computer science paper this uh, today mechanical paper we have observed that most of the questions are concept based very basic concepts so you don't have to go in depth you don't have to solve a lot of tricky questions just revise your subjects and just stick to the basic concepts solve all the pyqs i think that will be more than enough more than sufficient sir yes. so we are going to conduct all these sessions from tomorrow you can go and check our telegram group and you can go and watch these sessions in our gate wala mechanical channel so we'll see you again soon with another session till then bye bye take care thank you sir thank you bye bye